as a crowd of 800-odd space enthusiasts, government officials, and journalists watched, space tourism firm Virgin Galactic unveiled their much-anticipated Spaceship Two. Financed by Virgin founder Sir Richard Branson, and built by scaled composites led by XPRIZE winning designer Bert Rutan, the rocket plane, grandly named Virgin Spaceship Enterprise, is slung amidships of its breakthrough design carrier aircraft, White Knight Two. This particular White Knight's been designated Eve. Such a configuration could let family and friends watch their spacefaring loved ones depart for the black sky from the legendary comfort of a Virgin first class cabin. We imagine sitting there watching your girlfriend about ready to drop. 23 feet away, and she's launching and firing for a space flight. California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson both seized the moment to promote the job-creating benefits of private aerospace industries. And not only is today's action great for our future, it is also great for our economy. Because Spaceship Number 2 project has already created hundreds of uh, jobs here and will create hundreds of more jobs. Rollout of actual flight hardware like this has a ripple effect across the young private commercial spaceflight industry. Other entrepreneurs, potential competitors to Virgin, and their angel investors are taking this event as a proof point that the market for such vehicles will mature quickly. The VSS Enterprise, like the presumed additional Spaceship 2 class vehicles, is rated to carry six paying passengers and two pilots. But it's no secret that Virgin's EVE, or other White Knight 2s, could also lift small satellites bound for low Earth orbit, or trans-atmospheric point-to-point -point delivery, suborbital vehicles for scientific research, commercial development, and perhaps even military applications. So what begins with postmodern jet set tourism may diversify into a less flashy, but less risky from an insurance perspective, freight hauling business. The Spaceship 2 stack itself may carry the aerodynamic DNA of a Russian program three decades in the past. This is the 3M2 concept, an extreme makeover of the Russian Air Force's 3M bomber. Back around 1979, its designers too were thinking in terms of interchangeable payloads for differing clients. More than 250 potential space tourists have placed cash deposits on the chance to float in and gaze out of Spaceship 2's windowed fuselage. The solid reality of a real vehicle on a runway brings their flight dates closer. And it's very tempting to think that Virgin and Scaled might already be collaborating behind the hangar doors on scaling up to a Spaceship 3, the one that will go to orbit. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody.